Hey guys, how's it going? Moby here. Got a little um, tanks gameplay with on Dragon Ridge with the Maws. Uh, the Maws is a super heavy tier 10 German heavy tank. Um, obviously, it is one of the super heavies. There's a handful. Um, I've got Gripal, and I believe he's in the Type 5 heavy, which is another super heavy. It's a Japanese line, which I haven't gone down. I did the Japanese medium line. Um, I have way too many slow lumbering heavy tanks. So um, I think stock the Maws gets about a 15 point something second reload time. I've got mine down to 12.71 seconds. Um, so I've got, I'm working on safe stowage because obviously you're going to get RD'd a lot. You're a big, big bulky tank, pretty easy to get hammered on. Um, and I always intend on being a target of artillery. So safe stowage is great for protecting modules and things. Um, I do have on it repairs. I have Sixth Sense, Camouflage, Smooth Ride, Mentor, Track Mechanic, Brothers in Arms, Firefighting, Clutch Braking, and Pain Tolerance. Now Pain Tolerance protects your crew members from getting injured, whether it's HG rounds or artillery rounds or whatever. Um, Brothers in Arms helps with the reload. Um, not much else helps with the reload, but um, you know you got to get this down to a reasonable level. And I am not afraid of using some premium rounds. So right here you see I have 30 standard rounds um, and a bunch of HE because obviously you're going to see lower tier tanks and and if you can shoot them and cause a lot of damage, that's great. So the issue down here, I I could safely say never come this way. Grip went down in this, I'll call it a bowl, um, which is not my first choice to do, but um, I'll follow him, you know. So the interesting thing that we found here is, first, at first it felt like there was nobody around, and I'm going to try to keep perspective looking at my tank, and I'm going to try to show you what I was seeing at the time, because I remember how this kind of went along. Uh, we're surrounded by a few tanks. There's a 5100, I believe, near us, which I'm pretty sure is a Tier 8 French autoloader. Um, there's a couple of the guys around. So right now we're not seeing a whole lot of enemies. In this shot, I told Grip this was a warning shot. It, it went into the ground. You can't really see it here. I was aimed at his tank, and it went into the ground. Um, so it wasn't terribly happy with that. So... Grip and I are going to try to work this together. Obviously, we need to stick together. I'm not going to leave him alone. So he's taking point, let's say, and I'm going to cover his rear end. You know, he's got the primary target in front. He's going to call the engagements. I am following up on his lead, but if stuff is coming behind, I'm paying attention to the peripheral is what I'm doing. Um... Now the Maws has a couple weak spots, uh, mainly in between the front tracks, um, down low the lower glacis is a, is a great place to shoot at. Um, so now you can see we're getting a little surrounded. There's some, some significant numbers of red dots here. Uh, three to my left and basically one in front and kind of two to the right. So you know, the screen lights up red, and it shows you're taking damage. Well, the tank isn't taking damage. Modules are. Which is fine. Uh, I expect these tracks to be damaged and, and impaired, let's say. Not, not completely taken off. So, in this tank, if you're not firing, you've got to angle. Everything's an angle. Your hull armor is an angle, and your, your turret armor is an angle. Um, so, you've got to... I'm getting lucky. I got shot a couple times um, when I wasn't angled properly against other tanks, but they either didn't have the uh, penetration value to go through, or I got lucky on the uh, the angle of the armor. Um, this 705A is a, is a significant threat. Um, he is, he could very well be or have been the worst problem. 
So here this light tank, what I'm doing is I'm pushing him up the hill. So I'm causing some slight damage by running into him. But I wanted him to be sort of on top of me trying to crush me, let's say. Um, but he's going to take damage as well. So he got out of there. He shot, I, I'm pretty sure that's an autoloader. I don't I remember, recall what tank he is. So now this guy, I think this is a charioteer, if I'm not mistaken. That gun can do some significant damage as well. And I'm, I want to get him out of there. But Grip's yelling artillery. And I'm like, what do you mean artillery? <clears throat> and I look at the map and I look to my right. And almost in front of him, the Artie comes down. I, I don't know what the heck he was thinking. Thank God I had a standard round loaded, ready to go. Done. <clears throat> now I'm trying to watch this charioteer here. Concerned about the guys behind the charioteer possibly rolling off the hill. And then Grip's like, hey, I need this T-54 out of here. Right at you can't see it there, but he was moving away and he had his side to me. And it wasn't a great shot. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of tank exposed. But, um, you know, if Grip's going to call it and say, hey, I need help with this guy, then I'm going to switch priorities. Um, he, we talked afterwards, he said, look, you had my back. I wasn't concerned about it until I say, hey, we've got some problems. Um, which means, all right, he might need to disengage. He might say, all right, I need to finish this guy and we'll, we'll discuss this. But um, I never go to the bowl. And at a certain point there, it was in the, in the replay, it went by quicker than it seemed. But during that battle, um, I had my head on a swivel. I was looking at the mini map um, popping in and out of different views and very concerned that we could have easily gotten overwhelmed. Um, I think when the light tank came in, he tried to make his attempt and he came away really doing next to no damage to me. I think he said, forget it. I can't take this guy on. Uh, the nice thing with the Maw is I believe you've got 2,700 hit points, which that's a lot of rounds. That guy would have to fire a lot of rounds and do maximum damage to take me out. So he needs help. You know, we were crushing the T-54. We lost a few guys. Um, and they did a good job as a good distraction. Now, I couldn't get gun depression here, so you can't really see it here. I had to drive forward. Turning this thing is, is a lumbering beast. Um, I couldn't get good gun depression. And I couldn't one-shot that artillery. Um... And that's, you know, that's fine. It, it, we've got him on the move. I was just trying to get another kill there. But um, the only two tanks I killed were the ones that Grip called out was their artillery and the T-54. Everything else I was shooting at just sort of kept them back and just did a little bit of damage. But um, it was an interesting round because I, I never go down in that bowl. I, I feel like I'm just isolated. And we were, you're dependent on some help from your teammates. And we had enough. It wasn't fantastic help, but we had enough. Um, so it was, it was interesting to do, uh, we could have easily gotten overwhelmed if they sent numerous people at the same time, but, um, I'll show you the res results screen. We, we ranked up pretty good. Um, I would do it again. I'd especially do it again if we had maybe three or four guys and we went there. Um, I think we just sort of threw caution to the wind and went down. Um, blocking 3800. I've blocked more than that in the Maws. And even recently, I've played it a couple times. I blocked over 5000 or 5800 one time. Um, so here's the Maws. See that lower, gl the lower glacis in between the two tracks? That's a fairly soft spot. And I'll show you what the, what some of the values are. The, I think standard reload is, what does it say, 5.4 seconds. You know, when I got that down to 12. It's 8 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty darn good. Um, the firepower value isn't super. Um, standard shells, you can see that. Now, here's obviously your frontal turret armor is fantastic. Um, no one's ever going to penetrate that, really. Um, they can do some damage with HE. And that lower glacis right there is almost as tall, uh, as significant as the upper glacis. But I believe the upper is angled steeper. Um, so you, you got to be careful with that lower piece, but, um, it's a beefy tank. There's armor all over the place. Um, and you're basically a, a hit point pinata or a sponge, obviously. Now I came out with a lot of health, um, and I don't necessarily always want to come out with all of my health left, but, um, I happen to, I'm willing to give up some there. 
Um, so here's a clip. I think I might have shown this before, but I thought it was pretty good. I'm just trying to make sure I used it. So it slips in front of me here, and um, several guys come this way, and you can hear footsteps all around. Um, I risked picking him up, and uh, I get shot at. And at the end, you'll see, I don't believe I got the kill, because I watched it several times. But I thought it was pretty good. Barely escaped my life. Anyway, keep your stick on the ice, fellas.